Colorado hospitals are still facing a personal protective equipment shortage. But for the past few weeks, using sewing machines and 3D printers, local groups have stepped up to help. Denver 7's Micah Smith introduces us to one of those groups with more than a thousand members, all working to make sure our health care workers have the equipment they need. 3D printers can create almost anything you want, but right now in Colorado, they're being used for a major need. Fortunately, I had all of the tech I needed uh, to be able to jump in and start uh, contributing. CU Denver assistant professor Howard Cook planned to use his 3D printer for stop motion animation models, but instead he's printing headband components for face shields alongside others with 3D printers. We started off uh, early on with, you know, 20, 30 people, and now this network has grown to probably close to 2,000. The network is called Make for COVID. It started at CU Denver, but is made up of students and professionals from CU Denver, CU Boulder, the School of Mines, and some employees from local companies. The faculty have uh, really got on board to say, hey, can we deliver education in a meaningful way? CU Denver College of Engineering Senior Associate Dean Kristen Wood says everyone makes different components. The shields are then put together and delivered to hospitals across Colorado that are facing major shortages. It's about the people the people that are making this happen, and of course, a shout out to all of our healthcare workers that are making a difference in our lives. CU Denver Fabrication Lab professional Paul Stockoff says the printers are running day and night. The 3D printing portion takes about four hours to do to get a single piece that we need for a headband part. And they'll use those files to keep on printing in hopes of eliminating one challenge that healthcare workers face during the COVID-19 outbreak. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.